ever like look at your dog and wish you could just download their thoughts? Uh -huh. Like, what are they really thinking? You know? Yeah. Well, today we are diving deep into 10 things your dog wishes you knew. And this is like next level stuff. Uh -huh. Way more than just don't forget to scoop the poop. You know, it really is. We often approach our dogs from a very human perspective, forgetting how differently they experience the world. OK, so first up is something that kind of blew my mind. It's not enough to just take them for a walk, right? It's about mental stimulation, too. Huge, huge point. Imagine if your only outlet was physical activity, you'd be craving mental challenges. Right? Oh, totally. Dogs are wired to problem solve, to use their noses, to work for things. So puzzle toys. Puzzle toys are uh, fantastic. Yeah. So are scent games, hiding treats around the house. Even just changing up your walking route can engage their brains. It's like we've got to challenge their minds, not just tire out their bodies. Exactly. And you know, this actually ties into our next point, which is that because they're so mentally sharp, Dogs often hide when they're in pain. Oh, this is so sad, but it makes a lot of sense. It's heartbreaking, but it's a survival instinct. In the wild, a dog that shows weakness, well, they become vulnerable. Right, right. So as they're humans, we've got to be really tuned in to those subtle signs. Okay, so what, like a change in their posture? Exactly. Posture's a big one. Appetite changes, eating more, eating less. Yeah. Even a sudden reluctance to play can signal something's wrong. Regular vet checkups are crucial too, of course. It's like being a dog parent comes with a crash course in body language. Yeah, it really does. Speaking of which, let's talk about socialization. I mean, we all know it's important for dogs. Absolutely. But the source really stressed doing it on the dog's terms, which right. I thought was interesting. Yeah, because not every dog is a social butterfly. Forcing interactions, especially when they're puppies, can actually make them more fearful in the long run. So what, like slow and steady wins the race? Exactly. Gradual introductions, always reading their body language. Is your dog showing signs of stress? Lip licking, yawning when they're not tired. Those are cues to back off, give them some space. It's all about respecting their boundaries, just like we would with people. Okay, this next one really resonated with me. It's not just what we say to our dogs, it's how we say it. Oh, tone of voice is everything. Think about it. How do you talk to a baby? All sing-songy and high-pitched. Exactly. Dogs pick up on that. To them, an excited, encouraging tone. Well, that speaks volumes. Hmm. Makes you really rethink how you talk to your dog, right? It really does. Okay, so tone equals emotion. What about routine? Because the source talked a lot about how much dogs thrive on predictability. Oh, routine is like gold for dogs. Just like kids, they feel safe and secure when they know what to expect. I love that. Validation for my own need for routine. It's true. A consistent schedule for feeding, walks, playtime, even bedtime. That can really reduce a dog's anxiety. It's about creating a stable, predictable environment for them, which makes total sense. But even though they love their routines, it's also OK to give them some alone time, Yeah. right? Absolutely. Even the most social dog needs time to decompress. And, you know, this goes back to observing their body language. Are they seeking out a quiet corner? Do they seem overwhelmed by too much activity? Give them a break. Exactly. OK, this next one is music to my ears. What we often interpret as stubbornness in our dogs. Yes. Is usually just a communication breakdown. Isn't that a relief to hear? It's not that they're being deliberately disobedient. It's more likely that they just don't understand what we want or we're missing their signals. It's a two way street. We've got to learn their language just like we expect them to learn ours. Exactly. And that's what makes those moments of true connection even more rewarding. Right. Absolutely. OK, we can't talk about dogs without talking about those incredible noses. Walks aren't just about exercise for them, they're sensory explorations. Oh, absolutely. Imagine if your world was dominated by smell. It's hard to even imagine. Every fire hydrant, every blade of grass, every other dog that's walked by, that's all information. Mm -hmm. So letting them sniff around, it's not just indulging a quirk. It's like letting them read the newspaper, catch up on the latest news. I love that. Okay, get ready for the feels, because this next one really hit me. Dogs are so incredibly in tune with our emotions. They really are. Our well-being genuinely affects their well-being. It's this beautiful, profound connection, that empathy they have for us. They pick up on our stress, our anxieties, our joys. It makes you realize how much we impact them. We do. OK, cue the waterworks, because this is a big one. The most important thing we can give our dogs is love. At the end of the day, that's what matters most. It's the foundation of everything. Exactly. All the tips we've talked about, they all stem from that core bond of love and trust. 
When a dog knows they are loved unconditionally, well, it changes how they see the world. Okay, this has just been so heartwarming. But I think the biggest takeaway for me is the importance of observation really paying attention to those subtle cues, learning their language. And agree more. Because when we take the time to truly understand our dogs, yeah. that's when that bond becomes truly unbreakable. Beautifully said.